morning welcome back to the channel today is friday january 19th is it let's take a look yeah january 19th spent the morning uh, shoveling out the driveway uh, i'm gonna try to head into town and drop off my orders today so we got to get that car on the roadway it's a little bit slick out there still so uh, things are melting off a little bit we had about three or four inches where i'm at here in washington state uh, but uh, business must continue, right? We got to get those orders to uh, the post office. Uh, I've been kind of hunkering down, staying home and working on the inventory I have here. We're lucky that uh, I have some excess inventory, so I'm able to do that. I got another day in the life of a reseller vlog up this morning, so there's plenty to watch. Uh, I also posted a, a time lapse video of me shoveling off the driveway. If you guys are interested in that, it's a fun little video of me uh, putting in work. So uh, check that one out. Um, today uh, I've been doing a few listings, getting a few listings up. But first, let's take a look at what sold overnight. Looks like we had three orders for $189.55, which means we had a big one. Let's see what sold. First item sold for $43.29. It's a Quaker Factory blue jacket coat, women's zipper up. Zipper up, yep. Extra large keyword leather. So I remember this jacket because it came from the same storage unit where I got all the Christmas stuff. Uh, those of you who have been watching the channel know that I listed all my Christmas stuff this uh, this year. Finally got around to it, had it all uh, packed up and waiting in my mom's place. And uh, we uh, brought it down and we listed it all up and uh, had a pretty good Christmas of sales. Uh, this one came from that unit. It was uh, the gal bought a lot of these kind of uh, decorative sweaters and uh, decorative jackets. This was kind of a nicer Quaker factory jacket. I think it's a brand that they sell on QVC or some uh, shopping home shopping network, or they did in the past. Uh, she bought all kinds of those, and uh, we made our money back on the clothes and uh, everything else. In addition, uh, was just pure profit. So. Uh, all those Christmas items that I got to this year were uh, a pure profit because we'd already uh, been in the profit to, based on the clothing. She had several wardrobe boxes full of clothing and uh, this jacket was in there. I might have priced this one a little bit too high, but uh, it finally did get a sale. So uh, let's take a look and see when I listed that. Looks like it was listed December 1st, 2021. So it's been a while since I cleaned out that unit. Uh, now it's at 2024, so almost three years since that, uh, that clean out. Uh, it feels like it was just yesterday, but um, finally got that sale. And uh, I think, like I said, most of her clothing has already sold. It was all pretty nice stuff. I uh, learned about some women's brands that I didn't know about by uh, buying that unit and uh, listing in the women's category. I focus mostly on men's clothing, but uh, that storage unit fo fo forced me to deal with some women's clothing and uh, learn a little bit about some of those brands that uh, I would have otherwise just passed up. Second item sold for $15.62. It's a Nike Golf Blue polo shirt, short sleeve men's size 2X XXL solid polyester spandex blend. So that was just a basic polo shirt. It was a little bit nicer because it kind of had that uh, white highlights on the end of the sleeves, kind of capped in that white. Um, so a little bit nicer Nike uh, polo shirt. Um, we did have one more sale. Let's see, this was the big one of the night. I guess it sold last night, maybe earlier this morning. Let's take a look. Here it is. This one sold for $130.64. It's a Burberry's navy blue men's wool dress jacket. Solid line, size 54 regular. Let me give you a look at this. Uh, there it is. Burberry's made in England. It's the real deal. 100% wool. There's the back of it. Nice looking jacket. Uh, See, we took additional photos. Yeah, there it is, size 54, regular. Um, so yeah, Burberry, Burberry's, I guess it has an S. Burberry's made in England, so you see that label on anything, you pick it up because it's big money. So I was a little bit curious, so I did a quick search. Looks like there's 16,000 Burberry's jackets listed and 4,500 have sold. So the market is a bit saturated, but they do sell for decent money when you do find them. Um, 4,500 sold in the last 90 days, so they are moving, but uh, just not a very fast rate. Let's take a look at some of these sale prices. This is just at random, the ones that have ended the most recently. This one is $799, $125, $70, $45 for a sweat sweater jacket, I guess. 
250 so as you can see you come across one of those it can be a decent payday uh, don't overlook that Burberry's tag um, even if you gotta pay up a little for it you know you find it at the thrift and they're asking hundred dollars for it you might want to see if it's a nice jacket because if it sells for 700 that's still a mighty profit so I'm gonna grab those three orders from inventory get some shipping labels on them and get them ready to add to the tote for uh, my uh, sh shipping to the post office we gotta drop those off at the post office today that's the big uh, chore of the days driving to town in the snow. Um, not looking forward to it, but we got to make it happen. All right, through the magic of video, there they appear: the Burberry's coat, the Quaker jacket, and the Nike polo shirt. So three nice orders ready to go out. So when you can sell three things and make $189, that's the kind of morning you want to have. Um, less work and more money. That's what we're about, right? 2024 we're trying to get that average sale price up so those uh, big orders like that Burberry's jacket that's exactly what we're looking to get all right we got the orders already and here come those uh, shipping labels let's get them I'm ready for these uh, packages to go out in the mail all right three more orders ready for the tote we got one we got two big one and finally we got number three nice full tote of orders ready for the post office so I just logged into the small store looks like we had one sale in the small store and one offer I countered the offer but let's see what that sale was looks like it was another Star Trek book this one sold for $21.55 it's the Eugen Eugenics Wars volume 1 rise and fall of Khan Noonien Singh Star Trek hardcover book so another Star Trek book so for anybody who's watched the channel you probably heard me talk about these Star Trek books I bought the whole unit it was kind of a, a unit that didn't look like much uh, got to the back of it and it was full of Star Trek collectibles all kinds of boxes of books it took me forever to list them all got them all listed and they've been steadily selling ever since uh, here's a nicer hardcover version uh, had some of the larger hardcover books and these are selling uh, pretty regularly for over twenty dollars so uh, twenty one fifty five this one is out the door all right we got one more for the tote there we go We've got five more small items here to list into the store I think I'm gonna get back in the big store get those listed that's the next step all right, I just finished all those listings I had here on the desk. Uh, what we decided is not to go into town today. We got an event tomorrow I'm gonna be going to uh, down south. So we'll drop the packages off in the morning when we have some daylight. It got a little too dark and too dangerous out there with all that ice and snow and stuff. So we have a clear driveway at least and uh, we'll hit the road tomorrow and get that stuff dropped off at the post office. But uh, I did get these listings up. Let me give you guys a look at what we were able to accomplish. Here is a look at them. As you can see, uh, this was the Barry Sanders I finished off last night, and then we added the Zippo lighter, uh, this fishing lure, that big fishing lure, and we had this skeleton key, that rusty skeleton key that came out of a unit, a Stanley tape measure, this nice little bracelet that was in one of the junk drawer lots and this uh, kind of a uh, pin with uh, Wizard of Oz type characters, the Tin Man and um, Scarecrow and the Lion on it. With one more listing, I did this little pendant, this little skull with the wings. Listed it for $5.97 plus shipping, so uh, that was the last one. There they all are, the small section. I'm gonna go grab those and add those to the tote outside the door, and I'll give you guys a look at some fresh inventory. Put these away in this tote, but as you can see, this tote is starting to fill up. If you've been watching the channel, you've seen me start this little section, and uh, we've got quite a bunch here now, so uh, it's growing steadily. So I told you guys that I would give you a look at the, some new inventory. I got some fresh stuff I grabbed from a tote that I had from a storage unit. Um, it's been sitting in my uh, storage area for a while now so got into it. It had some nice lighters in it and I did dig into those pins. It looks like we had some of those Olympic pins in there. 
so I have that in the small section uh, ready for uh, photographing to get ready to list. Let me give you guys a look at some of that stuff. So here's a look at some of these pins that were in that uh, little uh, box. Um, I got this pin collection from a garage sale a while back. These are from uh, Calgary. Uh, this one is from Calgary. This one's from Albertville, 92 and 88. You can give you a look at it. They have the little set in the box and everything here. Quick little easy listers. I think I had these listed at one point or I listed some similar ones that sold. Uh, but I have a whole array of them here. I'm not sure if this is focusing in for you guys, but uh, let's get it focused in. So there you see it. Uh, set of five right there. This was another set. I think that might have come in a junk drawer lot at one point. And then this is additional. This is from the Seattle Goodwill Games over here. And then this one, I can't see what that's for. More Olympic pins. But uh, this was also in that uh, box that I got into. These were all nice lighters. This is a, probably a Zippo. Winston Camel. This might be another Zippo. There was these two patches. This little Versace patch. And then the Mark Harley Davidson patch. And then up here we have all the stuff that we got out of the last uh, junk drawer lot that we're working through. I did add a few more items to this mix. There were these pipes over here, this little one hitter uh, old pipe. And then uh, this was some sort of thingy, buzz it or something. I don't know what that is. A gig, gag gift of some sort. You got some uh, shark teeth here. That's pretty cool. Adventures uh, shark teeth. And uh, I think that was all I added to this mix here. The rest of it was from the junk drawer. Oh, there were these two little babies here. I was gonna put it with these uh, little figures over here for the railroad, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that's what we got going on over here. So I might take some photos of that new inventory and get some of that stuff online tonight. Maybe some of those pins and some of that other stuff. But uh, before I do that, I want to do another online arbitrage video. I got another box here that I've been waiting to get uh, into and uh, do a video on. So I might find some fresh inventory out of that as well. Uh, let me give you guys a peek at here that. Here it is. Looks like they sent it an old Lunchables box. Uh, Where's this one is coming from? Arizona. It's coming from Tempe. As you can see we got a few little uh, media items on top there. Let's see. More the royal family type of stuff. And I'm, I'm not sure what is under there. I don't want to show you guys too much. There you go. Get a little peek in there. So you'll have to watch the video. Yeah, if you want to see the full unveiling of that box, I'm going to do another online arbitrage video and uh, you can check that one out to see how uh, everything that's in that box. Eventually it'll come to this, this vlog when I do list it, but uh, if you want to get it sooner rather than later, get your eyes on it sooner, uh, check out those online arbitrage videos. I've been trying to do some of those as they come in the mail, ordering some of those junk drawer lots and other stuff. and. Uh, get some fresh inventory into my stores that way um, and the plan is to do a list some junk drawer lots myself eventually once I get enough excess inventory and uh, see how that goes to recoup my investment that's how I'm, how I'm handling it all but uh, we'll see we'll get into this one and see if it has any treasures look up some of it and uh, do a little research hopefully learn a few things so that that's the plan for tonight Here's a look at tonight's dinner, gourmet. What do you call this? Orzo with shrimp, I think. Little tomatoes in there. Tomatoes, basil, garlic, and butter with some homemade wine. Plum wine, wow. Doing it up good. All right, as you can see, we got another online arbitrage video creating itself. Look at that, a shark tooth we got in there. This will be a good one. You guys will want to watch that one. Ooh, a starfish? Oh, wow. That was a unit I bought for $4.99 plus shipping. It was a cheap one, but we had a lot of good stuff in there. Some uh, nice books and media items. Um, so you want to check that one out. Online arbitrage. You can search that on my, uh, my channel and find all kinds of fun videos I've done. So it's a little after 9 o'clock now. I'm going to get that last uh, video onto my YouTube channel, that online arbitrage video, and then uh, maybe I'll get in that photo station and take some photos to get ready for uh, listing a few items tomorrow. Uh, we got a family event that I'm going to do some photo work at tomorrow, and uh, who knows what uh, tomorrow will involve. It, uh, we got some stuff going on, but uh, I've got to get this content up. Today we got three pieces of content up. We got the daily vlog, and then we did a... Uh, 
snow shoveling video that was kind of fun got out there cleaned the driveway off decided not to go into town tonight so kind of did it for no reason but uh, at least we have a nice clean driveway now that uh, that snow will hopefully melt off in the next couple days and uh, we'll be back on those roads um, we'll have to drop those orders off tomorrow got a nice tote full here so hopefully there won't be too much of a delay in those orders for the customer but uh, they We'll have to be patient with this uh, winter weather. When the snow falls, uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, a day or so, a delay. So we have two day handling on my uh, orders, so uh, that is acceptable. So I'm looking at my YouTube analytics right now, seeing how the day went. We uh, didn't have a lot of content up. Like uh, previously, I did eight pieces of content that one day. And then uh, the last few days I've done three and three and three so I've been steady with it but uh, it has dropped off a lot since that last eight pieces of content that really uh, spikes the um, algorithm and gets a lot more eyes on your content let me show you guys that so here you can see the, um, the analytics chart here for the last few uh, this is the last month the last 28 days and you can see you got this spike here I did five pieces of content here it got a spike here we did six pieces of content and then here I did eight thinking it might jump all the way up here. It didn't happen. Uh, then the last three days I've done three and three and three. It's tough to get three pieces of content out in a day, um, let alone eight. But uh, three pieces uh, and we've been steady with it. As you can see the last uh, 48 hours here, uh, we got some viewership. It looks like it just jumped up here. Uh, this is eight to nine. So uh, some eyes got on it. I think 22 um, people watched it in the last um, hour or so. It's jumped up in uh, in this uh, prime time, I guess, from 8 to 9. A lot of people are online, so uh, it's kind of fun to see that little chart jump up. So I think as long as that chart keeps trucking along and those numbers keep uh, jumping up and down, and uh, we'll be good, we'll be on, ch on pace to get uh, monetized in the next year, um, as long as I keep that content flowing onto the channel. I'm getting a new, good little uh, rhythm of um, putting out at least three pieces of content and if I really want to push it I can do more. You know, I, I saw that I can do eight, that was six long form and uh, two shorts so it, it is possible to get uh, that amount on. You just kind of have to put the eBay to the side for the day and focus on uh, YouTube which is uh, not really something I enjoy having to do because I want to keep that money flowing through eBay. but. Uh, if I want to get this channel monetized, I'll have to do uh, set aside some days to do that. I must say it is becoming a little bit easier in terms of editing and getting a routine together, um, putting that content out, you know, the vlog in the morning and then decide what I want to do in the afternoon and then one at night. The Brian reads the news at night, I've been adding those. It, uh, sometimes I get a little sleepy at night, but I kind of force myself to do those. So uh, if you see me in those and I look a little sleepy eyed or my uh, I, I'm stuttering over a few words here and there, or maybe I s pronounce something wrong, uh, allow a little grace for that because uh, that's going to happen, you know, especially when you get tired. Look at that. Got a nice uh, video of tonight's dinner. Man, that was good. Some uh, tasty dinner for sure. A little wine. I think you guys probably saw that in this video as well. I'll try to slip it into this vlog so you can see it as well. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the little extra effort I'm doing, I'm doing to put some of that stuff in there to uh, personalize these vlogs a little bit and show you what's going on in my life other than just eBay. So uh, I want to share a little bit of, with that, uh, of that stuff with you guys so you get to know me a little bit better and hopefully stick around and uh, join the journey long term. <clears throat> Excuse me, long term. And of course, if any of you guys have any suggestions on how we could get this channel to uh, pop off a little faster to, for more uh, subscribers to come along or more viewership to come along, I'd love to hear that in the comment section or shoot me a message. Either way is fine. Um, I'm open to suggestions. You know, like I said, I'm new to this YouTube world. You know, I've only been doing it a short time. And I know there's a lot of tricks to the trade, so if you guys know of anything or have a suggestion or want some particular type of content a little bit more, let me know with a comment. I'm, uh, I'm happy to do that for you. So once again, I want to thank everybody for watching this one to the end. It uh, really helps me out. If you could, please like this video. Um, it always helps uh, the video uh, perform a little bit better in the um, search results. So if you hit that like button. I know a lot of not a lot of people are liking my videos, so it could really help uh, boost it a little bit in the searches and uh, get me uh, some new eyeballs and uh, hopefully a few new subscribers in this weekend. 
In the last week we have grown by 13 subscribers. The channel's grown by 13 subscribers in one week, so not too bad. I'd like to see a little bit more, but uh, I'll take it, you know. Um, subscriptions are going up, a view count is going up, which is what we want. Uh, so I want to thank all the new subscribers for jumping on board and joining the journey. So I don't really have a lot more to say about reselling in terms of what I'm up to. I'm just uh, building that small section, dealing with these online arbitrage items as they come in. I will get back into clothing a little bit in the future, probably um, once I uh, the, the weather improves a little and I'm able to get to those thrift stores a little more easily. Um, jump in the car and uh, get a nice load of uh, goods to list. I'll probably do that one of these weeks and you'll see that uh, clothing in the vlog. So uh, stay tuned for that. Like I said, I've been doing that for years. So I'm kind of taking a little break from the clothing side of things and to focus on these other items in these uh, online arbitrage finds. Um, it's been a fun little venture, but I am getting kind of a little burn out of these smalls. So I want to jump back into clothing. I'm, I'm able to list those a little bit faster and uh, I think the profits of the store will boost once I get those uh, significant clothing items back uh, in the mix. I have been looking at a few opportunities to do some online arbitrage with clothing lots. I see there's a lot out there. I've been researching some uh, vintage clothing lots. I'm just kind of seeing what's out there, taking a look at that every morning. So I might uh, buy one of those and have uh, have that delivered to the house and do a similar unboxing video uh, to what you've been seeing with the other stuff with the junk drawer lots. Um, maybe do it with uh, uh, hats. I've done vintage hats. Uh, that's always a fun one. Easy to list and easy to ship and a pretty good profit margin and a sell through rate with hats. So uh, that might be a fun one to start with but uh, I'm going to keep my eyes appealed for something like that in the future. So, so far 2024 has been off to a good start. There's been a lot of opportunities that are coming my way, a lot of different ideas on things I can try and maybe some things I can put behind me and uh, focus on my efforts on other things, uh, ways to kind of build my business into what I want it to be in the future and uh, kind of leave the certain things behind that I'm not so keen on uh, doing again in the future. Like they always say, there's one true thing you can count on, which is change. So we're uh, being open to change in 2024 and uh, kind of taking what comes our way, um, deciding on uh, what kind of change we want in our life and where we want it to lead to. Sometimes you get a lot of people in your ear telling you, you should do this, you should do that. But ultimately it comes down to your decision on what you want to do with your life, you know, where you want to spend your time and uh, what's important to you. So. Making those decisions, especially at my age, is kind of uh, changes a little bit. You get a little bit of uh, security and uh, of freedom to do some different things, and you uh, make those decisions a little different than you would have when you were younger. So I'm looking forward to that in 2024. Hopefully I could make it work, uh, work in my favor. And hopefully you guys are all able to come out on top in 2024 as well. If you have uh, any need or uh, help with anything in your life, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to consider that. Um, again, I want to thank you for watching this one to the very end. I know I've been a little long-winded here, but I want to make this video uh, a little bit longer so uh, I get more view time. You know what I'm up to. I'm trying to get those watch hours. So uh, thanks again for taking the ride. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.